we want to extend our work with derivatives to include a process called implicit differentiation. So over here I've written uh, the equation of the circle, x squared plus y squared equals 16. Okay, I want to differentiate this, but you see y isn't given explicitly in terms of x. So I can't do my regular explicit kind of differentiation, so what I'm going to do is called implicit differentiation. But before I start, let's just take a look at a picture of a circle over here and see that we already know what this derivative is going to turn out to be, and then we can check our work when we do the implicit differentiation. So I know here's a circle with a radius of 4. If I go out to any point on this circle, let's say that's the point x, y, okay, then this line right here, that's going to be y, that's going to be x. So this line has a slope of m equal uh, the vertical change over the horizontal change, or y over x. So I know the slope of that line is y over x, so that means that I know the slope of any line tangent to that line. This line, which is tangent to it, is going to have a slope that's the negative reciprocal, negative x over y. So anywhere on that circle, I already know what the derivative is because I can just geometrically go over there and find the slope of the line tangent. Now let's do our implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation just means that I'm going to differentiate sort of left to right. I'll think of this derivative kind of as an operator and just differentiate each side of this function with respect to x. So when I do that, when I differentiate x squared with respect to x, I get just 2x. Now, when I differentiate y squared with respect to x, I have to use my chain rule. So I get 2y times the derivative of the base, which is dy dx. And then when I differentiate 16 with respect to anything, that's a constant, so the derivative will be 0. Okay, so here's my derivative, and it's given like this. It's not given explicitly, it's implied. So now I'm going to solve this for that derivative. 2y dy dx is going to be equal to negative 2x. I think you can see that what's happening is going to be exactly what we thought would happen. Now I'll divide both sides by 2y dy dx is equal to negative 2x over 2y, which turns out to be negative x over y. And in fact, that's exactly what we predicted it would be by just doing it geometrically over here on the circle. So implicit differentiation, this just gives you a little justification for uh, believing that it actually works. So we did it one way over here, we did it with implicit differentiation, we got the exact same answer. Let's try another example. Here I want to find dy dx for this function, and I notice that with this function y is not given explicitly in terms of x, so I'm going to have to use my implicit differentiation. So I'll differentiate left to right, find the derivative with respect to x of that, and the derivative with respect to x of that. So that's just notation, just telling me I'm using implicit differentiation. I'm just going to differentiate left to right. Okay, this is the product of two functions of x, so I'll differentiate with the product rule. The first times the derivative of the second, plus the second, which is y, times the derivative of the first, which is 1. Okay, that's the product rule for this function right here. Minus the derivative of x with respect to x, which is 1 minus 3 times the derivative of y with respect to x, which is 3 times dy dx, minus, there's that subtraction sign, the derivative of 4 with respect to x, which is 0, equals the derivative of 0, which is 0. Okay, so now I've got my derivative right here in two places, so I have to solve this equation for dy dx. So let's take this term right here and this term right here, factor dy dx out, and I'll end up with x minus 3 times dy dx plus y minus 1 equals 0. So that term is 0. I have 0 on that side. Here's my plus y. Here's my minus 1. And I've taken dy dx and factored it out of this term and this term. That leaves me with x minus 3. Okay, so now I have this. x minus 3 derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 1 minus y. Now I'll just divide both sides by x minus 3. The derivative of y with respect to x must be 1 minus y all divided by x minus 3.
So when you do this implicit differentiation, a lot of times your answer, you end up with both x and y in it, and that's okay. Whatever we want to do with this next, we'll be able to do it with both x and y showing right here in this derivative. Let's try another problem. All right, one last problem here. What we have is we want to find the equation of the line tangent to this graph at the point 1, negative 1. So I know that x equal 1, y equal negative 1 satisfies this equation. If I substitute 1 in for x and negative 1 for y, I get a true statement right here. Okay, so I have one point that's on the graph. Now what I want to do is find the slope of the line tangent. To do that, I have to find the derivative. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to use my implicit differentiation. Let's do that. I'll just differentiate left to right and write 2y times dy dx equals, okay, here's the product rule right here, or I guess I could multiply that out either way. Let's try the product rule. The first x cubed times the derivative of the second, which is going to be negative 1, plus the second, 2 minus x, times the derivative of the first, which is going to be 3x squared. Okay, so there I end up with using the product rule right here. First times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, and this problem right here, I'm just after the um, equation of the line tangent. All I need is the slope. So I don't really need to simplify anything right here if I don't want to. I can just substitute in 1 for x and negative 1 for y, and then I'll have my slope of the line tangent. So let's do that. When y is equal to negative 1 here, I'm going to get negative 2 dy dx equals x is 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, 2 subtract 1 is 1, 3 times 1 squared is 3, so 3 times 1 right here is 3. So I end up with negative 2 times dy dx is equal to 2, so it looks like the derivative is going to be equal to negative 1. So there's my slope of the line tangent to this graph at this point. Now what it asked me to find, though, was the equation of the line tangent, so let's do that. I'm going to take this slope right here and this point, put them into the point-slope form of the equation of the line. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, and what do I get? y plus 1 is equal to negative x plus 1, so looks like y is equal to negative x, is the equation of the line tangent to this graph at this point. Okay, so there's a look at some implicit differentiation.